I am Mikhail Tsvetkova, and today I will present one of, the, one of my recent research projects titled The Role of Epithelial Markers in Breast Cancer Metastasis, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis and its Role in Promoting the Development of Precision Medicine in Breast Cancer. Before we delve into the matter, let me briefly introduce myself. I am an incoming senior at the American College of Sofia in Bulgaria. My academic endeavors have led me to contribute to multiple research initiatives, including the one that stands as our discussions' focal point. Some examples of my other commitments include serving as a tutor at the Caritas Center for Migration and Integration, interning at Sophie's Medical Academy of Sciences, and contributing to the Innovate Program for Medical Career Exploration. My ultimate aspiration is to enhance global health equity as a healthcare pr practitioner, blending work and travel to maximize my impact. To fully comprehend the magnitude of the challenge before us, we must acknowledge that breast cancer stands as the fifth most lethal cause of cancer-related deaths among women worldwide. It also accounts for the highest number of disability-adjusted life years compared to other cancers in women. This data accentuates not just the global burden of this disease, but also the pressing need for optimizing our therapeutic strategies. Breast cancer is a universal health concern, affecting individuals of all genders, though predominantly women, across every country and age group post-puberty. Our global health disparities become evident when we look at the World Health Organization's data. It demonstrates a distressing correlation between a nation's economic prosperity, access to healthcare, and consequent survival rates. It becomes evident that low-income countries, on average, grab with inferior survival outcomes. In high-income nations, there is a growing emphasis on precision medicine, a tailored approach to treatment strategies considering each patient's unique genetic profile. However, this approach is significant cost, primarily due to its intricate nature, hinders its widespread adoption in low- to middle-income nations. Therefore, refining precision medicine strategies becomes crucial to achieving health equity. Precision medicine becomes particularly crucial in breast cancer due to its marked heterogeneity, which provides development of a universally effective treatment. Breast tumors exhibit significant inter- and intratumor heterogeneity. Intertumor heterogeneity refers to variation among different patients, while intratumor heterogeneity is variation within each individual tumor, changing spatially and temporally. Factors within the, the microenvironment, such as interactions with stromal cells, chronic inflammation, nitric oxide, and reactive oxygen species levels, and the extracellular matrix can influence tumor development and progression. A key feature of intertumor heterogeneity is the different breast cancer subtypes. Doctors typically distinguish these diverse subtypes by examining if cancer cells express certain receptors, estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, and HR2. Based on these receptors and the KI67 proliferation index, which refers to how fast the cancer cells are dividing, breast cancers can be grouped into four categories, luminal A, luminal B, HR2 positive, non-luminal, and triple negative. One can see the difference in the molecular mechanisms and characteristics associated with the different subtypes in the table provided. Due to their variable nature, each of these subtypes has a different prognosis and response to therapy. EMT, or epithelium is a hemotransition, plays a significant role in the genesis of circulating tumor cells. These cells, breaking away from the primary tumor and entering the bloodstream or lymphatic system, can lead to metastasis. EMT is a heterogeneous process, and the tumor microenvironment and cancers as molecular subtypes play a significant role in CTC characteristics, leading to intratumor heterogeneity, where some cancer cells toggle between different states, exhibiting stem cell-like behavior at times and acting like differentiated cells at others. This phenomenon, known as cancer stem cell plasticity, augments their ability to survive, proliferate, and resist therapy. Hence, understanding the genes that drive or prohibit this process across the different subtypes can greatly promote treatment. Since EMT-mediated metastasis requires transition of epithelial cells to mesenchymal, as shown in the figure uh, provided, epithelial markers likely play a crucial role in this process. Epithelial cells initially act as tumor suppressors, inducing cell cycle arrest in breast cancer cells independent of P53. However, during tumor development, the tumor suppressive effect of normal epithelial cells may fade. 
This shift often happens due to interactions with mRNA, key players in cellular communication, hence exploring the role of epithelial markers in varying molecular contexts and their relationship with mRNAs can greatly contribute to the development of valuable biomarkers or therapeutic targets for metastatic breast cancer. Surprisingly, a comprehensive review evaluating our current understanding of the role of epithelial markers in breast cancer and their relationship with mRNAs hasn't been attempted. The systematic review and meta-analysis I conducted aims to fill this knowledge gap. The procedure employed involved identifying all epithelial markers and subsequently screening them for a role in cell adhesion, their involvement in metastatic breast cancer, as well as an association with mRNAs, promoting a more thorough overview of the markers. Following these screenings, the markers were evaluated for clear cellular mechanisms through which they impact metastatic breast cancer. The studies of the epithelial markers exhibiting clear cellular mechanisms, b catenin CD44, JAMA, MUC1, and 194, underwent meta-analysis for positive or negative correlation with breast cancer metastasis. The heterogeneity of the data was evaluated using tau square and chi square, ensuring that all studies were assessing the same effect. 12 epithelial markers were identified having a relationship with metastatic breast cancer in more than five studies and an association with a type of mRNA. This is depicted in the first table, and the relationship between mRNAs and metastasis is portrayed in the second figure. As you can see, many of the epithelial markers have a mixed role in breast cancer and have variable effects on metastasis based on the mRNA they interact with. The fourth plots depict the statistical analysis undergone by the eligible studies of the five selected markers with the data showing positive and negative correlation between the expression of metastasis and the marker being evaluated separately. Looking at all, the, all of the results, one could see the context-dependent nature of these markers and yet their significant role, reflecting the complexity of their role in metastatic breast cancer and the need for more research in the field. Across the meta-analysis, one could largely attribute the discrepancies between the results due to the variable methodologies and breast cancer subtypes used, potentially influencing the role of the protein. Due to time constraints, I'll only discuss this in more detail regarding the meta-analysis results of negative 4. Research on the association between negative 4 expression and metastatic breast cancer shows conflicting results. The two studies suggesting an inverse link lack statistical significance due to, cross, due to no, crossing the 95% confidence interval line. Differences in breast cancer subtypes and negative 4 detection methods used may explain the inconsistency, even though the low heterogeneity between them is unexpected given negative forces sensitivity to different antibodies. On the other hand, research indicating a direct correlation between the expression of nectin 4 and breast cancer metastasis has more statistical significance. There are discrepancies between the breast cancer subtypes investigated and the results. Both Zendler and Rabat investigated triple negative breast cancer and Yer portray opposite results. The others investigated luminal A, and even though most claim the positive correlation, Rajitza claims the positive correlation is statistically insignificant. This underlines the need for further research in the topic. Further understanding of epithelial proteins associated mRNAs and signaling pathways that they are all in EMT and metastasis across different breast cancer subtypes is crucial for development of personalized medicine and improving treatment quality. Here are my references. And I would like to thank the John Hopkins Global Health Leaders Conference team for providing us with this opportunity, my mentors, and all of you listening to my presentation.